Hey, it's Natalie. Today we are talking about a miracle food called sprouts. Now a sprout is produced when a seed starts growing into its mature counterpart. So a sprout could come from the seed of a vegetable, a grain, a legume, or a bean. They can range from thick and hearty to spicy and fragile. Here are the five reasons why you should incorporate sprouts into your diet. Number one, sprouts are extremely abundant in enzymes, up to a hundred times higher than in raw fruits and vegetables. Enzymes act like catalysts in your body, helping all of the body processes happen more efficiently. And enzymes also help your body get the most nutrition from the food that you're eating. Number two, Sprouts contain concentrated amounts of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. For example, one cup of broccoli sprout contains 28 micrograms of vitamin E. Compare that to one cup of regular broccoli and only contains 1.5 micrograms of vitamin E. Another example, in bean sprouts, the vitamin B2 or riboflavin increases 51% when it's sprouted, and that only happens in a few days. So pretty awesome. Number three, sprouts are alkalinizing to the body um, for a variety of reasons, uh, mainly because they're plants and they're so nutrient dense, and that can help offset the effects of stress and a poor diet. Number four, sprouts contain up to 35% protein. Now, um, typically that's higher than in the mature counterpart, except for the bean sprouts um, versus the beans. Those are going to be pretty similar. But the other sprouts for sure are going to be higher than the mature counterpart. And the protein is easily digestible because of how the protein composition changes when something is sprouted. And then number five, sprouts are excellent for weight loss because they are low calorie density, meaning they contain very few calories for how nutritious and how much fiber they contain. Now sprouts are cheap and really versatile and really available at most grocery stores. You don't really have to go to a health food store to find them. Uh, fragile sprouts like alfalfa, clover, sunflower, or radish sprouts can be easily added to fresh salads, wraps, sandwiches. You can put them on top or in egg omelets and even add them to cold salads like your chicken, tuna, or potato salads. Your heartier sprouts like your um, bean or lentil sprouts, they can withstand heat so you can still eat them raw, but you can add those to stir fries or soups or casseroles um, and even saute them in with your vegetables. My favorite way to use um, sprouts, I typically will go with a, a fragile sprout for this idea, but I like to put some sprouts on top of my fish tacos. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.